Alright, gotta put eye drops in uh, my own eyes, apparently. Rectus. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? HP, so we need that person alive. Zande fight again. Zombies never stand up. Also, they don't give out much experience either. Alright, let's on to the ribbon. Where we at? There we go. Now let's circle around to the actual boss of this area. Feels only like an hour ago, I was saying. We got a four to go. Here I am saying it again. experience we get, so I'm not going to complain about getting into constant fights. some healing, and let me do a little quick math test here. A cure 4 on everybody. Lessons currently has 2511. And we get 500. So our math estimate is even less than it was before. Times it's six hundred. Huh. Man, I don't know. I don't know. That last fight that I'm worried the most about. Well, that and uh, that and the other one where we tend to end the fight with only four HP between all of our party members. That's also kind of a worry.
tempted there to try and give it a test here, but I don't want to die here. <laughs> comes right before it's dead, so Matt's just gonna die this round. Oh, called it wrong. Just to show you, I had no idea what the hell I'm doing here. two attacks. Everyone gets a skill up. More backstory that we've read before. To Aramon is the next one we're heading to, and it's such a low level monster in other Final Fantasy games. I guess this goes to show you the difference between the Void in other Final Fantasy worlds. Skill 21, and that means nothing to me. of the world tree. Even Griffin's getting the skill ups. I was almost hopeful that last time we were actually going to do it, only because the elixir plan seemed like it would work, and Griffin was the only one alive. I think that is just um, superstitious on my part now, since Griffin was the only one who 
Griffin's the one who got last hit, so on the last two Final Fantasy II games. On the last two Final Fantasy games, I mean... He killed Chaos, and he killed the Emperor. So if he was the only one left alive in our playthrough against the boss, with an unknown amount of hit points remaining, I would just be left to believe that possibly we might win. As constantly is the way, if I give Griffin any praise, that's when he loses. Helmet on your head, Griffin. Probably get some heals up as well. See, that time we did 7,000. I mean, if we could reliably do 4,000 a heal. I'd have a lot less to complain about. Again, the continued fights at least give me a chance to level up more or increase the uh, skill of the characters. Alright, get some heals in. This is just this guy. I mean, he's concerned, but he's not the big bad. 
I've not actually lost to him yet. Which is the words you say when you're hoping to get jinxed. Bahamut round. I will be screwed if he does another meteor attack, though. In the past, he's done smaller AoEs after this. But RNG doesn't rely on past observation. Thankfully, that was the case. Get a attempt in of what I plan to try and do with the main boss. run, I guess. This is the best way to test run this. I don't particularly like the fact that I'm only seeing a heal of essentially a thousand. Glass is going to be doing about 1,700 a hit. Yeah, see, this doesn't even work against the lesser version. Okay, so our end plane is not going to work. Gotta think of something else. is to not heal one person specifically so that we can full life them. And that way we can focus the heals of everybody else. On the remaining three? And it seems to me to be my best plan. Unfortunately, I think I would do that with the person who has the least HP. But unfortunately, it's somebody that I need to keep up all the time.
I don't think I'm making any huge revelations here with anything I say during these. All my huge revelations came from the first time I was here, and then the second time around the main boss. boss left to go, the double-headed dragon, not this one, and uh, then the boss of the game, once more. This boss fight is the one it doesn't matter if I heal for or not, considering that it does more damage than my entire health pool altogether at the time it attacks. I only have two Bahamuts left on you, like. Looks like we're going to be forced to use a elixir before the main fight anyway. Minimize the window. There we go. I'm gonna hit with the Leviathans only because I'm gonna save those two full lives. I don't know why I did that. Regular life spell works just as well. I just wasted not doing three times the amount of damage, basically.
Phoenix down rapidly. It's important that we have them alive. They're the main DPSers of this fight. Great. Awesome. Love it. Said, just the main DPS of the fight. You still have Bahamut's left. You are now actually forced to be down to Leviathans. Attacking the one who couldn't actually hurt you. That weird double push. Input thing again. There we go. And everyone alive. That means everyone gets experience. Remains is the final boss. And first, let's say we heal. So we know that the constant healing plane is not going to work. Oh, there it is. I forget what the portal was through here. But the constant double healer plane is not going to work. Which means that we need to figure out who we can sacrifice to keep everybody alive. I mean, that's not really going to plan either. We just need to figure out a way we can concentrate heals. I think the overall problem that we're now facing is the fact that we made our healers the main damage dealers, which means that they can't both beat the boss and keep everyone alive at the same time. Skill ups in there can't hurt. Sometimes I keep forgetting which way I went before. Less than 20,000 health. Then I guess maybe the plan is to elixir at that point. But the problem there is that 
If he goes first, then we're all dead anyway. An unplanable scenario. Used to be good at chess, is now just trying to puzzle this through and can't put the pieces on the board right. Alright, time to get some healing in. Basically at full health now. Right, elixirs. So you have all your spells back. Nobody else is missing anything now. Alright, big fight. Attempt number four. I so want to try using the shuriken again, but having missed the first time and every attack being of such importance, I just can't risk not hitting. Alright, more Bahamuts. Lessons can't go down for any reason because Lessons is the only one with full life. Survive five rounds of full DPS. I think it was only eleven. Cure plan might work. that with Bahamut's again. Hmm. Some of us are up to full. Alright, and you're gonna cure for everyone again. And then you're gonna Bahamut. So we're not maintaining our full DPS anymore, but we are doing damage and staying alive. Although some of you are less alive than others. to sacrifice your turn to try and hit an elixir in. I couldn't remember what the elixirs were. Okay. 
Okay, the important people are still up. We still got damage going out. Some people are going to die. Okay, you keep doing this. You, Bahamut. And you, full life. Oh man, we are fiddling around. Messing up, but we're so much further along than we've ever been. You a elixir. You a elixir. Hopefully you go first. God, if you don't go first, we're dead. Locked it up again. Fucked up, man. We fucked up. Okay, what's the plan here? How many elixirs do we have left? Now, if we're going to try and use a shuriken, now's the time to try and use it again. Nothing happens. It's a fucking waste of time. Go back. Only other thing I can think of. down, and if you guys work in order, elixir, same time. Fucking asshole, you're not going in the right order. turn order worked in the right way of Ractus Phoenix Downing lessons and then Griffin and then Griffin uh, doing the elixir but Griffin just had to be the glory hog just had to throw the elixir out first okay short break short break and I'm going to Try this again. So we're gonna go to the starting soon screen while I I feel dirty for doing this, but I think it's been proven now that everything beforehand has been done. There's no challenge left in the before, only in the after.
Fight Bahamut fight. Believe me, I'm going to put a note on here how many times I have attempted this. time. One always heals. So Rafferty, heal yourself. I'll Bahamut this round. Lessons will Bahamut this round. Lessons. Griffin will fight. Rafferty will cure himself. And I will Bahamut again. Well, that means the elixir didn't go off. Again, Griffin will elixir me. Rafferty will Bahamut. I will full life. Well, lessons will full life me. Griffin's gonna die, which means that Lessons needs to full life him. But I need to elixir Rafferty. This Rafferty should be free to Bahamut, leaving me to full life Griffin. Pace is going to take 20 rounds to beat this. Okay. We fight. Griffin fights. Rafferty. Cure. Lessons. Lessons, you Bahamut. We need to get some DPS in there, or else we're going to run out of resources before the fight ends. Rafferty, you Bahamut, I will full life, or lessons will full life me. will Bahamut. Okay, you 
fight. You, uh... Elixir Rafferty. Rafferty, your four lessons. And lessons, Bahamut again. victory. When this shit doesn't go away off the screen, that's victory. Also, that means that finally I've got a kill on a boss at the end of the game. Two for Griffin, one for me. Problem is I don't have time to use buffs against it. It's heal or die scenario. Hands up. Hands off controller. I'm done with Nintendo. <laughs> Feel as though the translation might be a little bit off. Feel like a little bit soured now. Got through the whole game. No, none of this. None of this happened. The whole game. But here, at the very end, at the very end, this had to happen. That's a neat little effect, especially for Nintendo. everybody. Francis Griffin Rafferty Lessons, you did it. You really did it. I knew you were the real thing. Aren't they amazing? Come on, everyone. Let's go home. Stabilizers. Thanks, old man. Ah, it was nothing. Well, I guess it's time to go back to a mirror. America. Hello, everyone. Thank God you're safe. What are you talking about? It was a cinch. Thanks to you, the world has been saved. Ha! Whenever you need us, whenever you run into trouble, count on us. Come see us anytime. You can train with us. Ho ho ho. Farewell. Somehow Dash turned blue, even though he's always only wearing red. It's Salonia. I'm home. Thank you, Prince Alice, or I mean King Alice. Your hearts of light saved the world. It is we who should say thanks to you. I'll never forget the courage that you've taught me. Truly, thank you so much. I guess this must be Sid. Oh, that's right, all three of them come from the, uh, floating island. I forgot about that. Approaching Kanan. 
We're almost there. I'm sure Granny's waiting. I'm getting off too. Dash, why are you going to Kanan? Zarina? Oh, so you're going to see that girl. Cut her out. You're embarrassing me. Dash, who was dead for most of the game. Kanan. And there's Sid's wife, Granny. Don't do that. I'm shy of hugging in front of people. Maria, Dash, don't leave me ever again. Never. We'll be together forever. Hey. What are you doing? You're hugging me. Oh, I give up. Hmm. People. Oh, sorry, sorry. Did I show off too much? Call me when you go on your next adventure. Oh, no, you don't. Fish, don't let her get under your thumb. Shut up. Come visit us anytime. Granny will cook you up a special meal. Thanks. Later, Sid. Dash. Just Sarah. Let's go back to Sassoon Castle. No, I don't want to. I want to have more fun. I want to have fun with you a bit more. Don't go back just yet. Huh? What princess? Don't be so dull. I'm gonna be with you a little while longer. Why are you blushing? Come on, let's go back to Ur. To our adoptive parents. It's Ur. We're finally home. Let's go. Welcome home. Ractus, Griffin, Rafferty, Lessons. Welcome home. Hi, Dad. Mom. We did it! Well done. Truly well done. You worked so hard! Welcome back! You saved the world! You really are the Bide Warriors! I'll give you this as a thanks! Hey! The world has been freed from darkness thanks to your hearts of light! Thank you, Light Warriors! And the earthquake apparently happened again. Oh, the light! The crystal has returned to its place! Beautiful! The darkness parts and light shines upon the world. It's a new dawn. Again, it looks like the earthquake is coming back, the same thing that caused the whole problem in the first place. They say a new lord was born that day, under the star of Ur. Two birds shepherded him with gifts. <laughs> 